Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Flag Cap Hero Talk. And today we will be discussing and doing a bit of a scout report on a player who I feel like is definitely somebody that maybe has flown under the radar for quite some time in European football. It is Florian Grilich. Florian Grilich, the Austrian international uh, out of Hoffenheim, who plays for Hoffenheim. I feel like he's this guy that no one has really thought of, actually, when it comes to maybe that quick fix, central defensive midfielder, holding midfielder, that tempo setter, that creator, basically, you know, what Marcelo Brozovic was showing us in his highlight reel. He's the guy who can do it, in my belief. He's the guy who can basically be that cut price, you know, kind of cheaper alternative who definitely isn't as you know brilliant as Marcelo Brozovic but actually kind of does more of the same in a certain way especially the reason I'm kind of considering him for this scout report is because if we don't get Marcelo Brozovic this January window I feel like we are still desperate to get that holding creative midfielder that guy who can be able to ping balls left and right control matches can control games and I feel like Florian Grilich is actually a great alternative. I feel like he is a great alternative. He's out of Neunkirchen, Austria. Uh, he's age 26. Uh, he's a central defensive midfielder slash center mid. Uh, he's a right-footed player, stands at 6 feet 2 inches, 1.87 meters. His current club is Hoffenheim. I believe his youth career, he played at Werther Bremen uh, in the Bundesliga. His market value is around 14.4 million pounds, and his contract ends in 2022 in june so again you could get him on a free in the summer but i feel like what you need to do is that you need to sign him in the january window because if you can't get someone like brozovich this january window or maybe my favorite player in world football bruno gamarash then you certainly go for this guy because he can offer you more of the same at maybe kind of a poor man's version if you ask me i really love florian grillich i feel like he's definitely somebody that we definitely need to consider as that alternative to maybe a Marcelo Brozovic, if you ask me. So let's break down some of his stats to show why quickly. His pass is completed long, over 12 per 90. 12.55 long passes completed per 90. And also his long passing percentages are actually quite impressive as well. The guy just knows how to be very, very accurate. His passes into the final third, 5.89 per 90. And look at these. I mean, he ranks in the 98th percentile in the Bundesliga for long passes completed, which basically means he's, I mean, at best, if not the second best in the entire Bundesliga as well. Uh, he has the 95th percentile ranking in passes into the final third. And you kind of think of all the other teams in the Bundesliga, the Joshua Kimmich of the world and, and whatnot and stuff like that, the Florian Neuhauses and thing, you know, players like that. And this guy ranks higher than some of them, like really does. So it really just shows for especially a little club like Hoffenheim, you know, definitely showing, you know, his skills. And I feel like he's just really flown under the radar, Florian Grillich. A uh, 6.47 progressive passes completed. That is a pass that's 10 yards or more, by the way, everybody. And as well, that ranks him in the 97th percentile there. Uh, he has 2.39 blocks per 90, which puts him in the 90th percentile, which again just shows that he has a few fair of defensive actions. And he has over two interceptions per 90, which puts him in the 87th percentile. And this is comparing him to all midfielders, just all midfielders as well. So it really does show that this guy is quite genius at being able to be that holding midfielder again flown under the radar i will just say that constantly because i feel like he really has uh, it's over 12 ball recoveries per 90 that's more than i believe uh, ml hoybier at the moment i'm pretty sure that's more than hoybier so that again just shows that this guy is actually a bit better than maybe that meets the eye and i feel like there's someone that we do really have to consider his attributes include him being able to control games. This is why I really am so desperate to sign that holding midfielder, that central defensive midfielder that can ping balls left and right, that can basically control the tempo of the match, can find ways to open up the defense and maybe someone like a Hoybjerg or a Skippy can't really do at the moment. And, you know, that's why you bring in someone like a Florian Grilich, especially, again, if you can't get someone like a Marcelo Brozovic. Uh, he's that tempo setter, long passing ability we already showed just through the stats alone. The guy's unbelievable. Uh, he switches play, incredibly efficiently and as well he has an unbelievable vision i really does have an unbelievable vision he reads the game really well not only in the creative sense but also in the defensive sense we saw that in the interceptions and everything like that uh, he's an excellent ball carry i do believe his progressive uh, ball carries are not too bad i believe it's actually quite high in his ranking as well uh, we will go over to fb ref very soon uh, instead of the highlight reels which i couldn't find a really solid highlight reel that i feel like is worth it which again only speaks again to how much he's flown under the radar um We'll break down him when you compare him to other midfielders in all of Europe's top five leagues. You will see how good this guy is. Uh, he's very technically gifted, and his composure is just ridiculous. He has this excellent mental clock, I'll tell you, because quickly, we we sometimes say in the La Liga, Serie A, you know, it's a bit slower. You know, the tempo isn't as fast, isn't as high, isn't as high octane as the Premier League. But 
an alternative to the Premier League, like kind of a version of that very high pace, you know, very you know high pressure kind of league is the Bundesliga. And I believe the Bundesliga is known for its high pressing. It's known for its very kind of box to box kind of nature. Uh, it's pretty much just always high octane football. When you kind of take that into consideration, that basically means that a lot of the skills that a midfielder would need, you know, in order to release the ball quickly in order to kind of be able to ping balls uh, left and right, you know, with not too much time on them. Like they only have so much time because in the Bundesliga, everybody is pressing so high. Everybody's pressing so quickly. They're all in fantastic shape, a lot of Bundesliga players. Uh, So that means if you're that holding midfielder, if you are that tempo setter in the holding midfield position, you can you only have so much time on the ball. So again, some of his passing numbers here are actually quite impressive because you would think that he would have more of these numbers if he were in like a Syria or a, a La Liga. And I would say if he moved to La Liga or Syria, this guy would absolutely tear it up. But that's why I want him in the Premier League as well. And he stands at six feet two inches, so I feel like you know he definitely could be kind of a dominating force. <laughs> Maybe he's almost kind of like a Nemanja Matic when you kind of think about it, actually. That's maybe maybe a good actually comparison when I actually just thought of it. I just thought of that just now. So I feel like Nemanja Matic would not be a bad comparison at all. But I am going to now uh, take a look over at FB Ref, everybody, and have you guys see what his stats really look like over there. I really do feel like he ranks quite well. I'm about to show you how he compares to all midfielders. And he has played center back position in a back three as well. in that libero kind of role distributing almost like a Java Luis. Uh, but let's just compare him to, again, this is compared to all, uh, all of Europe's uh, top five leagues and as well as European competitions. Uh, so basically, this is basically comparing him to the best of the best of the best. You even see some of the players he's similar to, uh, the Poppy, uh, the Poppy Gays of the world, the the Rodri's of the world, uh, the Zacharias of the world, and whatnot. Locatelli's. I mean, the guy has been unbelievably brilliant. Let's look at these passing stats right here. Look at his rankings. I mean, progressive passing distance. There's no one, I guess, in all of European football <laughs> that has had more progressive passing distance. In the entire uh, last 365 days, more than this guy, he has again, when we saw in the Bundesliga, he ranked in, I believe, the 98th percentile or something like that. Uh, When it came to long passes completed per 90, look at just all of European football. He ranks in the 89th percentile again. That's very, very impressive. Look at also his pass completion percentage as well, you know, at 87 percent. You know, you go to long passes. Excuse me, actually, just excuse me, everybody. Long passes completed of European football. This guy ranks in the highest percentile of it all i guess tony cross is you know someone whose ranks even higher than him but he basically is someone that is still in the 99th percentile the top echelon of long passers the top echelon of somebody who can ping a ball left and right in that midfielder position over 14 in the last 365 per 90 last time when we were looking at those stats a little bit earlier that was just from the 2020 21 season from last season if you go over the last 365 days which includes right you know some of the football that he's already played this season he's averaging now over 14 long passes completed per 90 which is just absurd like just absurd and also look at the pass completion percentage for that 83 percent pass accuracy when it comes to long passes as well and he ranks in the 93rd percentile in all of european football 94th percentile of all european football when it comes to passes into the final third as well as progressive passes there which is just again somebody that i'm just gonna say is a very underrated distributor a very underrated passer of the ball is really someone that we should be taking a look at if we don't bring in that Marcelo Brozovic, if we don't bring in that Bruno Gamarish, if we basically don't bring in that holding midfielder that can be able to control games, control tempo as well. You even go down here as well, passes under pressure, which is basically, again, passes made well uh, under pressure from an opponent when somebody's pulling on your kit, pulling on your shorts and whatnot, completes over 11 per 90, 96 percentile ranking there as well. You can still see a lot of green over here. You really do see a lot of green when it comes to his high passes, low passes, ground passes. He's just, he's just his passing ability everybody it just i'm just gonna ram it home he really is somebody that we should consider just somebody if you've ever been frustrated you know with the way Bjerg not being able to you know ping the ball perfectly you know to region and Emerson every time when he overshoots it this is the guy that will never miss this is a guy that will never miss and I, that's why i really do love him as well i do believe you know if we go into his possession numbers as well uh also i mean look at his actually very very impressive for a midfielder there uh defensively you can tell that he has a few blocks you know per 90 shots saved uh interceptions 2.76 right now and 
2.61 clearances per 90 as well. So he definitely knows how to get stuck in when he needs to. Uh, he doesn't commit too many pressures, but I think that's just because he is that holding midfielder position. You shouldn't be, you know, putting yourself too far forward. You don't want to expose your defense. His progressive carries over six per 90 as well, right down there. This guy is just full of green as well. Like really an unbelievable player. Look how much he also controls games from the middle third and the defensive third. This is somebody that sits very deep and then is just able to just unleash and be able to just, you know, ping balls in the best sort of ways. He can just, un he can break down a defense. He can kind of find the key and, you know, kind of the the very like kind of, you know, low block defenses. And he just kind of sits with the center backs and just is able to find players where maybe most, you know, defenses would think they wouldn't be able to be found. So this is somebody I really feel like could unlock a lot of defenses. And also if you go down here as well, again, I mean, his interceptions rank very, very high, uh, but he also has, 12.21 ball recoveries. He's still doing fantastic in that element right there. But there's a quick little breakdown on Florian Grilich, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, let me know if you if we couldn't get someone like a Marcel Brozovic, if we couldn't get someone like a Bruno Gamarš, maybe for that holding midfielder position, would you consider this guy? I think we really should. He's definitely flown under the radar. So hopefully maybe you agree with me. But let me know in the comments down below if you really do agree with maybe Florian Grilich as an alternative to maybe this holding midfielder position. But that'll be all for now. Please like, please subscribe, please hit that notification bell as well to never miss another scout report like this one. And I'll be seeing you.